Hey, and welcome to this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at my top three choices that I'm looking forward to reading on New Comic Book Day. And this week's New Comic Book Day is going to be Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. I kind of took a week off last week if you saw my video it was more of a slideshow style than my normal video format that's because I was really busy and didn't have a chance to record but I was still able to put that out so that you could see my top three and this week I have a lot of independence in the top three and one DC comic so let's take a look at my pull list for this week you can always get the full pull list down below in the description of this video Let's take a look at my top three picks. And number three for this week is going to be Batman issue number 127. We're still on the Chip Zdarsky run. There's a lot of cool things happening. There's a new character introduced that is basically a super powered robot who apparently cannot be defeated. So we've got that in the mix and we also have the penguin who has framed batman so there's that subplot going on in the story as well and we also get a pretty good backup story with catwoman that is related to the batman or sorry the penguin subplot so it's been a really good story so far i'm liking this chip zadarsky run of batman so far jorge jimenez does the art for this and it is amazing so you get the good writing and the good art it's really hard to beat and this week there is another cover b done by gabriel delato and it's even a wraparound cardstock cover it's looking really good so i'll probably be picking up that as well and at number two this week is going to be a second printing so it's not a normal print run but it is a comic that i have drank the kool-aid and i've jumped into it's eight billion genies issue number four the second printing my comic shop has not had any of the first printings of the first four issues and I went over to another LCS to pick something up and I noticed they had issue number one. So because they had issue number one, the second printing, and I've been recommended this book by several folks, both on YouTube and outside of YouTube, I decided to go for it. And I am glad I did. Charles Soule who I know through Star Wars writing, has done an amazing job with this book. It's intriguing. You really want to read and find out what happens next. The first three issues are what I have now picked up all in the second printing. And now I'm going to look forward to trying to grab the first printing as they come out later this month. Issue number five comes out and I think it's an eight issue series. But really, it's a really interesting idea and it keeps you wanting to read more because you want to find out what's going Going to happen next and why did this happen there's still some mystery involved with that and you also get this really strong character development amongst the characters that are present in these first three issues so i really liked it looking forward to this issue number four second print coming out this week and at number one this week is going to be metal society issue number five I am a big Zach Kaplan fan and you know this if you've watched my previous episodes last week. My Out of the four issues that I picked up from the comic shop, two of them were Zach Kaplan. One was the new breakout, uh, breakout issue and the other one was the brand new series called Forever Forward. And I have liked all of the Zach Kaplan series I've read so far. I've even picked up some trades of some of his previous uh, stories that he's written, such as Eclipse and uh, Port of Earth. So we'll see uh, where this final issue of Metal Society goes. But each issue has been building up to this final fight between uh, machine and man as we look at this futuristic world where people were basically eradicated by the uh, machines it has kind of a matrix feel to it and then the machines decide we should bring people back 
and when they brought them back they treated them really as second class and used them to do labor all over the planet for them and now this small group of humans is trying to fight back for their rights but doing it through peaceful methods and they found this way of doing it through what is essentially an MMA fight between a human and a robot and there's been a whole lot of buildup to give the backstory to this final issue and I'm looking to see how it is resolved will the humans win will the robots win I guess I'll have to read and find out this week this week I'm going to try my new segment and I'm calling it drop it like it's cold I'm going to share at least one title that I am dropping from my pull list and give you the reason why some weeks I may not be dropping something from my pull list so I may uh, give you some information on a story that came out the previous week that I didn't enjoy that could set in progress the motion for dropping something from my pull list we'll see how it goes but this week I'm going to talk about the title Radiant Black I have been a fan of Radiant Black from the beginning and the first i'd say 10 to 12 issues were great especially that first five six issue run where they gave an introduction to the character and the, the background the, the original backstory of how it came to be and then some of the descriptions of what this techno uh, alien technology he was finding was about so it, it was a good story and then we hit about issue 13 or 14 and really i started to struggle kind of following the plot and then uh, issue 15 and 16 came out and I really had a really hard time trying to figure out what was going on I don't know if I needed to connect the dots from some of the other stories because I know they started to build like a universe around Radiant Black there's been Radiant Red and uh, Rogue Sun so there's been some other comics that have come out but this series I read issue 17 which I think came out last week and I honestly didn't really know what was going on and I decided it was time to drop from my pull list so maybe you can leave me in a co some comments uh, in this video below and let me know if you still are reading it if you like it maybe I miss something but really I don't think I will miss this one off my pull list and that's why it's going you know there is always budgetary reasons as well you can't buy everything and I have already added a couple new things like I mentioned earlier in the video 8 billion genies is now on the pull list so replacing th so one thing with something else helps with the budget too so as always like I said at the beginning of the video you can see my full pull list in the description below please feel free to subscribe and like the video and remember to read them bag them and board them and we'll see you on the next episode of the pull list examiner have a good week